Hi there, welcome to Family Virtual Storytime. The leaves are turning colors, it's getting a bit chilly out and a bit dark at night. I think it's fall. And that's always a time to read about some surprising stories. Do you have a lot of surprising stories at home? Well, we're gonna read three of them today. So let's start. Our first story for today is called Wolf's Coming. Ooh, let's see what happens. Oh look, there's a rabbit. The rabbit's flying with some balloons. Hmm, that doesn't happen every day. Oh, but it's looking at something through binoculars. What does it see? Oh no, is that the wolf? Wolf's coming. Oh, a distant howl rises through the breeze echoing through all the trees. Hurry, hurry, don't be slow. Follow me, come on, let's go. Oh, gotta go little penguin, go. A shadowy figure climbs the hill, getting close and closer still. Oh no, raccoon, run. Faster, faster, take my hand. Run back home like we planned. Oh, look at all the bunnies. Oh, they better run. They're getting in their wheelbarrows. Wolf's coming. Oh no, there's the wolf. Shadows lengthen. It's getting late. The wolf is now outside the gate. Oh no. Quickly, quickly, get inside. Shut the door. Better hide. Go ahead, go ahead, go hide everyone. The moonlight shines on his bright white fangs. His belly growls with hunger pains. No, the wolf is coming. Closer, closer, next to me. Pull the shade so he can't see. Wolf's coming. No, the wolf's almost there. Glowing amber eyes appear. Pointed ears strain to hear. Is that the wolf? Oh no, hush now, hush, not a peep. You must be still, like you're asleep. Wolf's here. Oh no, wolf. The front door opens with a creak, and the big wolf leans in for a peek. Tightly, tightly, shut your eyes with all your might, yell. Surprise! Oh, look at that! It was a party the whole time! Who knew? Oh, doesn't Wolf look surprised? Aww. Laughing, laughing, so much fun! Cake and pizza for everyone! That's the best party food! Oh man, look how much fun they're all having! Aww. Happy birthday, Wolf! Oh, he's even got a few presents. Oh, that's fun. Did you expect that? Did you expect them to have a party for him? It was very nice of them, don't you think? Well, let's read our next surprise story. Our second story for today also has a bit of a surprise to it. Let's see what it is. It was a rainy day and Posey was a little bit bored. So she decided to do some cooking. In the kitchen, Posy put on her apron and washed her hands. First, she took out the sugar, the butter, the flour, and then the eggs. And then she stirred, 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 stirred everything together. She plopped the mixture into the paper cups. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, Posey's making a lot. And then she put the tin into the oven. But careful, Posey, it's hot. Posey was waiting for the cakes to bake when she heard a tap, tap, tap on the window. Oh no, look at that. It was a big blue furry hand. Posey felt a little scared. Whose hand was that? Next, there was a knock, knock, knock on the door. 
grrrr, said a voice. Hosey was very scared indeed. Oh no, who's at the door? The door opened. It was a monster. Roar, said the monster. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Posy started to cry. Oh dear, there's a monster at the door. The monster came right into the house. But then Posy looked at the monster's feet and she stopped crying. That doesn't look like monster feet, does it? Hmm, that looks like her friend. Well, hello, Pip, she said. Hello, Posy, said Pip. I'm sorry if I scared you. Would you like to be a monster now? Oh, is Posy going to be the monster? So Posy put on the costume. She's got the body on. Now she's about to put the head on. Whoa, there's Posy as a monster. And she said, roar. And Pip, Pip laughed. <laughs> Pip and Posy went into the garden and they played until tea time. Look how much fun they're having playing together. Then they had a glass of milk and lots of Posy's cakes. Hooray! Oh, look at them together. They're having their tea with cakes and milk. Oh, so fun to have them two come together and be a surprise at the end. Who thought a monster would come to Posy's door that day? She didn't, but I guess she ended up having some fun. Well, why don't you join us for Craft It next, and you'll learn about a few fall ideas for making a wreath of your very own. Hi there, welcome to Craft It. Today we're going to be talking about a fall wreath that you can make with some of the supplies that you have at home. Let's bring some fall colors into the house. Have you made a wreath before? Sometimes you just have to think about the papers that you want. Maybe some textured ones, maybe some with writings, maybe even some grocery store bags. And then you can download some leaves from online, trace them and cut them out. And then start to layer them on top. Do you see how many layers this one has? It's using big leaves, small leaves and even a fun birdhouse. But before you start to make your wreath, you always have to think of your foundation. For this one, I used a cardboard foundation. So I drew out my circle, cut out my circle, and then I cut out the inner circle. After that, you have to tie on the device you're going to use to hang the wreath from. Then the fun starts. You can start to lay out all your leaves, choose the different sizes, maybe add a pumpkin, whatever you want to do. And then after you have it laid out, Choose either double-sided tape or glue to stick them down, and then you'll have a full wreath. But sometimes I understand that not everyone can use the scissors just right. That's okay. You can also take some fun construction paper, rip it apart into leaf-like forms, and make a wreath like that. Then after you have all of your pieces of paper glued on, then you can also add some other elements like maybe some stickers you have at home or even some smaller leaps, whatever you want to do. Well, I'm so glad that you joined us today for Craft It. And remember, this is a craft that you can do at home. It's not one of our grab and goes, but it's still something fun to inspire you. Now back to our last story. Our last story of the day also has a bit of a surprise. It's titled, A Quieter Story. Hmm, quieter story? Will it really be quiet? Let's see. Oh look, there's a little kitten and her girl. She must be in her room. Look at all the art supplies she has. She seems really creative. Maybe she'll do some drawings. This is a story about, yes, this is a story about a kitten. A kitten? Don't you mean a tiger? Wow. Um, okay. That looks like a scary tiger, doesn't it? This is a story about a tiger who wanted to play with his yarn. 
yarn. Wrong. Okay, how about one day the tiger went into the jungle to hunt for some, some yes, yes? What is he hunting for? Some milk. Milk? This little tiger doesn't want milk. A tiger needs a story with, with some pep. Yeah, some pep. And maybe some pizzazz. Some pizzazz. Some pep, some pizzazz. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it looks like she has an idea. Pep pizzazz, pep pizzazz, pep pizzazz. Oh, she's gathering all of her supplies. All right, she looks ready. You want an adventure? Finally, let's go, says the tiger. Darkness surrounds him. No light, no problem. Look at the tiger in the dark jungle. Venomous vipers drop from the trees. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, five venomous vipers. And the tiger says, snakes, I've got this. Soon hungry hyenas circle the tiger. <laughs> hungry? <laughs> hyenas? Suddenly, the jungle is filled with rockets, boom, robots, lightning, sharks. How's that for adventure, tiger? What do you think? Oh no! Rockets, robots, lightning, sharks. Rockets, robots, lightning, sharks. Rockets, robots, lightning, sharks. Wow, too much! Oops. <laughs> Did little Tiger get scared? I think Tiger got scared. It's okay, little Tiger. Don't hide. Maybe we should try a quieter story. Well, okay, but maybe just a little bit of pizzazz. And that's the end of a quieter story. Isn't that one funny? Oh, this kitten so wanted to be a tiger so bad. And she had a little bit of adventure, but then maybe a quieter story is the way to go. Well, thanks for joining us today for all of these surprising stories. I hope you're able to read some yourselves and enjoy the fall weather. Till next time. <laughs>